Hey guys, welcome to Heroes Manufactured uh, Live. This is our newest uh, episode, episode 12 of season two. This is our final uh, episode for the season, which is a, a big deal for all of us. We're going into season three shortly. I do have a couple of quick announcements here I just want to make uh, to all of our viewers. Uh, after uh, this season, we are taking a short break, probably for about uh, three to four weeks. So uh, we won't be showcasing any new episodes of Heroes Manufactured Live, but we will be showcasing all of our other great shows like game changers like comics vault like movie minute so you're still going to get all that great content uh but for right now we're focusing on on rebuilding uh more to the brand uh, we have a new show coming out uh specifically we're going to talk to you guys about today which you're going to love uh with a new host uh, that you guys are going to actually get to see today here on heroes manufactured live uh so i will introduce her shortly uh but i do want to uh mention a couple of other things we are uh putting out our new website uh, heroes uh, vault uh, dot shop which is going to be a new store that's coming out soon uh, also please check out our new amazon prime video series heroes manufactured creators unleashed uh, uh, uh our guest today is actually in that so we'll get into that shortly and uh get right to it so here you go hey hello how's it going <laughs> holly wolf hello i'm good how are you great great thanks for coming on to our show uh, guys, Holly's a uh, celebrity cosplay uh, uh, host and guest for a new show that we're going to be uh, bringing to you guys shortly, so we're announcing it today. Uh, we do have a cosplay show that uh, Holly will be uh, joining our team, but today's show is specifically going to focus on Holly, uh, introducing her to any, any of our audience members that uh, aren't familiar with Holly, uh, but many are, so we're going to uh, actually get right to it. So, uh, Holly, how's it, how's it going? How's it been for you so far? Good. I'm good. I'm uh, I'm just chilling, having a good time in my I'm under my house. COVID too. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Well, see, as a cosplayer and someone who does a lot of content creation, I'm I'm used to staying at home. Yeah. So besides the not being able to travel for conventions and stuff like that, which I love and I miss dearly, um, it's been it's been all right for me. So I'm I'm a bit of a homebody in general. So I've fared pretty well through all of this, luckily. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. And so, I mean, you've, uh, you've, I know that you have your own shows that you do as well. I mean, you do a lot of YouTube videos, yes. you do a lot of Twitch videos now, which I mean, I hear soon they're changing the name to like uh, prime gaming or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. They it's just the announced that. Thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I haven't really looked into it yet. I've been a little busy. <laughs> it's all good. No, for sure. I mean, and it's cool because we, we work with uh, Amazon prime right now. We, we have our show right. on that and, and you're in there, which uh, is yes. awesome. We interviewed you in the first film um, uh, uh, back in 2016. I remember Al Alfonso Espinos from Studio Comics introduced me to you. Um, I know you through Andrew now as well. So it's, it's I mean, it's a nice circle of people that, yes. that we have our community, our little tight community here in, in Canada, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> we're, always, we're always holding up our Canadian flag one way or another, but it's awesome uh, that, that we all have that. So um what got you into uh cosplay if you don't want me kind of just asking getting right into the questions and a little bit about yourself about okay well it's a lot so i went to school for musical theater um i studied singing acting and dancing i've always been like a theater kid ever since i was young i love to dance i uh, i took dance classes ever since i was like eight or nine. I was in Taekwondo first and then I moved to dancing. I just loved it and singing and musicals and everything like that. So that's what I studied outside of high school. I went to Sheridan College for that um, and I had a great time. Yeah, it was amazing. And um, I got to do a lot of work on theater productions and touring with dance companies and all that kind of stuff um, for years, years and years. And I slowly um, got into modeling from that as well because of like headshots and and working with photographers for like acting. So I slowly transitioned. And funny enough, <laughs> I was actually in Vegas one year during yeah. uh, EDC. Uh, there what's, with what's EDC? Remind, I, I can be like the, 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 not knowing anything or so. I mean, feel right, free to right. <laughs> EDC is a huge um, electronic dance festival so oh, yeah huge i should know this because i used to dj years ago but that's oh, okay yes yeah. so i was there for edc vegas i would go there a bunch with a bunch like with my friends and right. i was up late at night in our hotel room and i remember 
<laughs> so, so lame. I remember seeing Heroes of Cosplay on the TV in the hotel room. A, a great show, by the way. Yeah, it was it was wonderful. And I was just sitting there, like, binge-watching these episodes. And in my brain, I was just kind of like, wait a minute. People are doing this full-time? Yeah. This is great. This is amazing. I already model. I already... I love acting. I love theater. I love art in general. And I went to school for theater. I know how to sew. I was taught costuming and set design. And everything was just kind of like falling together. And I had more time on my hand because I was a little bit more free because I was moving into the modeling scene. I was working for myself. And uh, I was like, I want to I wanna do this. I want to pick this up. Yeah. And photographers loved me already because... I know how to pose. So it was very easy for me to kind of like and slip it's funny, on in. You know As someone that I like, I actually do a lot of uh, sketch work with anatomy. And, you know, mm -hmm. this show, we, we talk to artists, we talk to designers, we talk to gamers, everyone, right? Right. Uh, but you know what? Like the pose, uh, especially with anatomy, you need to know how to get a certain angle, set, get certain shots. So, I mean, I'm sure like it, 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 it all can, you know, integrates and, I get it. I mean, it's yeah. uh, especially in the arts. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and I I was always into uh, video games. Like I, I played growing up constantly, like Sega Genesis and sixty four. I grew up playing video games, so I was very heavily influenced on that. Loved watching like fantasy, sci fi. Like my parents are huge Trekkies. I grew up awesome. reading Lord of the Rings and stuff. So all of that influence was already there. And it, like I said, everything just kind of slowly came together in my like mid twenties. And when I had more freedom, uh, I was like, yeah, this is, this is great. And I would like to do this. <laughs> so awesome. with my popularity as a model already, um, I, I, I feel like I kind of got a little bit of a head start when it came oh, to like, awesome, man. Cosplay. Awesome. you're always promoting yourself out there, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I mean, you're always getting yourself out there and you're working with other, other models, other cosplayers in the business. Um, I mean, you have a nice track record in terms of like where you've built yourself in the scene, in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I've seen you at, at a few different co like uh, conventions. Uh, I know that you're, you're doing conventions both in Canada, the U.S., internationally. I mean, yep. you've done some, some shows. I know out in the – I mean, you, you've worked in the Philippines. You've worked kind of like everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. I've traveled to many countries. What was Which the most interesting thing. like country city that you've been to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um or favorites whichever you want okay well philippines is definitely easily one of my favorites um i love the philippines so much everyone's so wonderful there and that's where i met my fiance so it kind of has a very special place for oh, me tropical there i hear as well yeah. right? oh i love the heat i am a I am a heat person. It could be 50 degrees out and I'm still drinking hot coffee. I'm loving it. Um, but Dubai was really interesting too. Dubai is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was actually there for um, the Middle East film and Comic-Con as well. well Huge it's convention. It's interesting because for me, like I'm, I'm Israeli. They just recently had a peace deal with uh, the United Emirates and Israel. So oh, yeah. That's going to be unique for, uh, for a lot of Jewish uh, folks from Israel to go travel there. And and vice versa because they want to come to the uh, the mosque in Jerusalem. So it's, I think it's nice that the world's finally starting to come together. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's, uh, I, it's I hear it's a beautiful city. And oh, uh, it is. Did you model there specifically? Did you do some work there? Or? No, I I literally went there for the Middle East Film and Comic Con. Um, uh -huh. They were looking for cosplay guests, and I had already uh, met Elodia, who is technically like the biggest cosplayer in the world i would say wow. she's from the philippines i already i already knew her <laughs> i thought it was yaya han i mean I, I <laughs> so so i mean yaya is huge um yeah. rightfully so but elodia is a, a whole other level of <laughs> she, she's an og as well but yeah elodia is um she's she's filipino and she she's i believe she's japanese filipino and um yeah Oh, just, just amazing work. Hey, eh? wow. That's, that's oh, amazing. Whole nother level. This girl has been, has done campaigns for so <laughs> many big companies. It's great. She's always traveling, but she goes to the Middle East Film and Comic Con every year. They have her there. So and I think, might be asking, like, how, how is it in a city like in Dubai? Like, are, well, cause especially cause I know that like women are treated a bit differently there, right? Especially with right. 
with clothing with yeah. cosplay I'm, i can see the conflicts there right like yeah they and that and i was told ahead of time you know uh, my contact there he made it very clear like make sure you bring things that are, are definitely more on the covered side uh, so i made sure every single cosplay of mine was fully covered fully dressed. Yeah. I didn't have an inch of skin just because I'm one of those people, like I said, I travel a lot. So, and I'm not trying to be that tourist, that traveler that is disrespectful to or other countries. For, yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm just not that type of person. I, I, um, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And I would rather know what's happening when I go to a country and be like, all right, that's how it is. I may not agree with it, but I'm also, I'm going to follow the rules. This is my yeah, country. You don't want to do the wrong thing, especially in a foreign country, right? I get it. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, I was with the modeling group in Indonesia. Wow. Um, and uh, let's just say I'm never allowed to go back. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so well, I have been banned see. from a country, not because of my doing, but oh, because wow. of other girls in the group. Yeah. Oh, so it, it's just something came out that wasn't uh, liked and then you kind of had to. You know, yeah. 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 Immigration came and, and, and took us all and yelled at us for a few days and took our passports wow. and deported us all. So that's, that's not fun. I hear you. Yeah. I was, it was a lesson learned. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, listen, it, sometimes it's, it's just better to, I mean, yeah, we, that's how you learn in life, right? You, yeah. Yeah. Totally. You learn it all, <laughs> right. So it's, it's awesome. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I look at every failure that I've ever had as being a great experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and it's really funny because for so long I had like this giant uh, deported stamp in my passport. Oh, there you <laughs> For go. years. And I was like, I just hope no one else from any immigration looks at this and goes, what happened? <laughs> I, I think once they see Indonesia, they'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I was banned from, you know, the United States or something. Yeah, so that would be a bigger yeah. deal, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I've actually you, you had friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've had model friends who have been banned from the States. Um, no, that's Yeah, a, that's I mean, a listen. whole other situation. Crazy. And, and that, that's, yeah, I mean, especially now with COVID, it's crazy because people are probably like, it's harder to get into the country. And <laughs> Already, yeah. That. Um, and we're, we're going to jump into some of the images here. I just want to kind of show our viewers. This is some of your work here. Um, sure. So th this is this is some work you did. Uh, if you can kind of go through some of the images here. That one on the left, uh, that's uh, uh, from one of the video games, right? From Is that the Final oh, Fantasy game? Yes, or? so that's Cindy from Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, yes. great game, by the way. Great costume. I Thank mean, you really you. pulled it off. So Yeah, and I actually, I flew I flew to Vegas to shoot that. In a nice. in a town in a it's called Ghost Town. It's like all these old rundown cars and stuff, and it was perfect for her. I'm really I'm a stickler for um, making so, sure my locations are really good. Was it was there like a greasy old gas station with a diner there as well, or there was old old gas stations, super old pumps. Yeah, yeah it was it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful location. Great. No, it looks yeah. amazing. And so this and this this uh, image in the middle. Yes. Uh, this we got to see you in person in our new show. So I mean, yeah. uh, <laughs> during that 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 first episode of uh, Heroes Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us a little bit about this because that's a great costume you have. Yeah, that's well, that's uh, Princess Zelda. So that's from Breath of the Wild and um, you know Legend of Zelda. So the latest game, Breath of the Wild, and um, yeah, she has this beautiful regal dress that you got to see a bit later as the game came out. And I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm a huge, huge Zelda fan. So okay. I've been slowly recreating several of her looks. Nice. So I did that for Katsukon. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. I try to take beautiful, flowy, gowned looks to Katsu when I go every year. Very cool. Because the location, again, is so beautiful. So. so those aren't your real ears, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I got so much hate on those ears. And what, what about they were so they were a little too long, you know? <laughs> what, what about those horns on the on the last one? What's oh yeah, one? that's that's Mount Lady. She's from an anime, My Hero Academia. Oh my hero! And she's actually like an Amazon, so she's like buildings tall, right? It's, nice. it's yeah, she's really cool. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. I mean, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, mm -hmm. This is another great one, and again, great location too, where you have it because yes. I'm mean, getting that grittiness. And uh, I mean, at first when I saw it, I was like, is that is she? 
pulling off Lara Croft. And then I was like, no, no, that's something. Yeah, else. that's Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII. And yeah, that location actually kind of signifies one of the missions within the video game where they have to climb up this giant tower to to save people and whatnot. So yeah. I, I really liked that. But yeah, that's Tifa. She's a fighter. I love I'm 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 kind of into um the slightly stronger like fighter type girls. You'll notice that I I cosplay a lot of people who are good fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. That's that's part of the uh the world of uh, the attraction to it. I mean the gaming, everything. I mean mm -hmm. you're doing like uh, I mean I've seen some you've done like comic characters, you've done gaming characters, you've done you've done it all in that sense. So I yeah. mean, that's pretty cool. And and what I'm going to show now is also uh, I mean, this is a pretty cool image. I don't, I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, that's Akali from uh, League of Legends. League uh, of her Legends. pop, her pop star skin. So yeah, huge, huge game, obviously. And and they came out with a really amazing music video for the League of Legends uh, Worlds tournament a few years ago, and uh, people were obsessed with her skin. Nice, it's, it's lovely. Yeah. And where do you do? You create all your own costumes, you from scratch, or how does it work? Do you piece it depends. Things it depends. So some things I'll have um, commissioned for me. Uh, yeah. All my latex I have commissioned. Nice. I, I love latex and I love the way it looks and feels, uh, the wet look it can give you. Um, but I... Yeah. It's got it's got a nice shine, like uh, exactly. gloss to it as well. Yeah. Very superhero-ish. Um, and so it's a wonderful fabric. But I personally... I don't know how to work latex. So hi, I have a girl in Toronto who does any of my latex projects for me. But have if you they're more from the Batman Returns yet? No, I would love to. That's that's <laughs> that's a big one. I mean, at least for guys like me who grew up in the nineties and like Yeah, that's you know, true. Michelle Pfeiffer look. I mean that's Oh yeah, it's it's a hard one too, because it's not an easy costume to make from what I, I I've met a couple of cosplayers down in Miami that uh, pulled it off and I was like, right. wow, you really pulled it off and some of them are actually on our facebook group so i mean check it out when you have oh, okay oh yeah that would be wonderful i'm so behind no <laughs> it's, I mean, there's so Wait, much I there's so too. much that i want to do <laughs> oh, for sure. there's so much out there and here's here's some images here of some latex that you've done yes uh, so yeah so the so the two on the side are latex and the middle one i actually did all myself wow that's so, crazy and yeah, so, so that's armor and i'm a big armor fan so, so armor armor is from what was that what game is that so that is actually from a anime, and yeah. it has some mobile games. It's called uh, Fate, is the is the anime, and that is Saber Altar. That's the, the middle games. one, right? Yes, that's the middle one. I did that at Anime Expo a few years ago, and yeah, yeah I did all of that foam work and everything. It was it was a I lot. Was say, that, that looks like it's foam. But it's all foam. Crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's and really the, light, super easy. Mm -hmm. And the same with the, the, I guess, the little horns on on the head. Is that yep. also latex? All or, of it. Yeah, um, all of it's foam. <laughs> foam, foam. Yeah. That's crazy. And so the the one on the left, I know I've seen this character like a dozen times on on other cosplay groups. Right. Uh, yeah. Remind me again that that character. That is Asuka, and sh and she's from Neon Evangelion. Very very popular, um, older anime. And anime manga. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's cool. And then there's classic Cami from like yes. the 90s. That's, that's and I awesome. recently did that version too. I had done, I've done several other versions of Cami first. And then I was finally like, okay, I have to do the, I have to do her green bodysuit. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. And, and like the gloves, I always see these, the, 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 I've seen the Cami uh, gloves before, but is that also foam or is that like yes. a mix of foam? Nope, that's foam. Yep. That's foam, I that's made those cool. guys. Because those are thick, right? Those look like almost like boxing gloves. To like that. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Wow, wow. And, uh, no, I mean, you pulled it off really well. I mean, it's uh, it, you definitely look like Cammy. So, I mean, you, you Yeah, I do well with the, you know, obviously the girls that look very kind of like Eastern European vibe. Yeah. So, I, I try to stick to more of that. I love, I'm a big anime girl. But, of course, my facial structure can't really take on a lot of those more cutesy anime characters. Um, well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, you're, you're pulling it off though. I mean, so, I mean, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's I try to stick there. to the ones. Obviously that's the thing, right? If you cosplay something that you already slightly resemble, you're just, the reaction you get from people is going to be so much greater because you, you really um, 
like take that character on. So girls like Cammy, Zelda, I have very high cheekbones and the elf ears. Um, I just, I do very well. So, and I love those characters. Like, it's not like I don't love them, but I love so many others as well. But I, I kind of shy away from them slightly because I know that I might not do them as well. Give and them as much justice. If your characters you haven't cosplayed, cosplayed yet that you really, you really want to try out or something that you want to really work on in the next little while? There's so many. <laughs> I have um, Widowmaker from... Okay from Overwatch that I've been sitting on for a very long time. I've had the latex done for it for years. I Ooh. have all the 3D pieces done. I have to sand them, put them together and paint them. Um, but she's a full body paint, so I've got to I've got to do that. There's a Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> Have you ever done like a uh, black cat from Spider-Man? Like, yeah. No, but that's on the list too. That's, that's, oh. one, that's one. I mean, I can just, cause I've, I've sketched that uh, cover a lot. I've done commissions mm. for some of my, uh, uh, my paid art, uh, my, my paid art. So I yeah. would definitely try that one out. Cause I think you've got the physique for it. You've got the look for it. So I and mean, she's, I think not, that could... she's not too hard. So that, that, that shouldn't be too hard to pull off. I would need like a really nice, uh, I would probably go with like a PVC type or, material. Or Spider Gwen or, or a mix of the two too. I mean, yeah. I could... Oh, I've done Spider Gwen. Um, I just did her like newer, newer version recently, which one yeah. of the photos did so well. Cause I actually used to do ballet. I used to do point. So nice. I rented a dance studio and went on point for her. It, it hurt. I hadn't done that in a long time, <laughs> but the photo did, of course, like it, it just went everywhere. Cause people were like, Whoa. So. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, if you, if you can attract that audience and people, people like it, you're going to get more people. So, I mean, it's definitely, yeah. it's, it's awesome what you're doing with that. Um, and here's some more images. These characters I'm not even familiar with. I, ah, I, I see the one on the right. These are all video game character. Well, I mean, um, Akali isn't, but the other two. So Samus, which is the blue. Left. Okay, Samus the yeah. is the blue. Um, that's from Metroid. Again, another video game. <laughs> yeah, I love that game. No, I, lo I love your, but it, so is, uh, so, so that's, uh, is that the, uh, that's not the main suit, obviously, right? That's just... no, yeah, that's, that's the, the zero suit, Samus. Um, wow. Yeah, that, oh my gosh, that, that shot's from a long time ago, but everyone really liked that. Yeah, I love the one in the middle with the, with the glow in the dark spray paint. I mean, that looks badass. I mean, just the fact that you're doing, yeah. And it's very like it's very artistic. I think it's one of the best images I've seen so far because I love seeing like people doing unique, creative things with their cosplay and with with the art. Like this is art to me. You know what I mean? Like right, I, yeah, I, like I said, I'm I'm so picky about locations. And so that's so a Cully again. That's a Cully from League of Legends. You already showed that one a little bit without yeah, the face a little bit, Yeah, that's the one with the where you you, you got that hoodie on from before. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So she's got like this, you know. Um, neon black light look and, in the music the video. Thing, like you completely altered the mm -hmm. image in a way where now I, I feel like I, I have, I don't even know it's you. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that was really hard to do. Ready. That's for sure. But um. yeah, that was hard. Cause we had to, we had to scrounge around for more black lights cause it wasn't hitting my body as hard as it should have. Yeah. But so uh, I, yeah. It's interesting Cause I used to work as a cinematographer years ago in the film business. Oh. And I mean, that, that must've been, horrendous just to, I, I could already imagine how <laughs> no i was like we need more black light do you guys have any spares like i brought a lot that was actually at a place called pursuit which is in mississauga wow. and it's like a parkour like fitness center but all the all the areas are gorgeous so i took her and the the red latex asuka there and shot it on the same day and wow, uh, yeah, I oh I, I saw pictures and I, I messaged them on Instagram. And I'm like, can I can I please shoot here? This is perfect for several of the characters I want to do. Nice. And yeah. Oh, I love it. And the character there on the far right, that's uh, that also is Rango, that right? is Two uh, B, and again another video game character from oh. Near Automata, which is a oh Near Automata. Yeah. yeah. See, I, haven't played the, I know all the games. I just haven't played them all yet. So I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you're educating oh me because I I just. I haven't gotten into the manga games. I know there's a lot out there. There's Catherine. There's a whole bunch of other mm -hmm. great games, but like there's just so many, so many things out there. It's kind of like what you said earlier. You you just need to find that time to like really, you know, get into it and understand what's what's new, what's trending. Um, but I mean, you're obviously exactly. We're gonna get into your gaming, uh, uh, I guess, hobby because that's another aspect of you that 
<laughs> uh, some people know and, and some people don't, right? From what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am. Um, I mean, I'm a Twitch partner and I stream on Twitch, but I tend to do more uh, like just chatting and hanging out. And then I play I play video games <laughs> more on this side because I I'm a I'm I just I really like getting into my video games and I actually don't like having that distraction of people watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. you know, we'll, we'll definitely have you on some shows with Addy from the Game Changers uh, show that we have because I think there's a definitely some really unique things there. I was even thinking with Philip from the movie, uh, a movie minute show because I know you do. You have also like a, I mean, you mentioned a theatrical background. Mm -hmm. uh, you've done some acting as well. That's another kind of aspect of what you're doing. Another performance. Um, so I mean, that's that's awesome that you're doing all that. Um, and and the fact that you said modeling. I mean, the one thing I'll, I'll kind of get back into. Um, with modeling, I know that you were, you mentioned to me, uh, you were a Playmate model uh, yes. for, uh, a couple of years back. Uh, you've done some stuff for Playboy, uh, but you've also done some swimsuit modeling and, yes. and, and, and all that. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, no. Um, so I tend to travel with companies and actually the two photos on the sides are from modeling companies that would... Um, fly me out to work with them for the week. Basically, we'd go to like beautiful, all-inclusive resorts and just shoot content, whether it be for submissions to um, Playboy or Maxim or FHM or other editorial magazines. Uh, we'd go there for a week and like shoot all this amazing content. And I'd also um, host workshops. A lot of the girls would um, be paying to go and then photographers would be paying to go. And then they'd have some of the sponsored uh, models and photographers, the featured ones who were there to then coach and help everyone. So it was really amazing dynamic because I could go um, shoot, get a lot of content done with the photographers that I know and I work really well with, and then also help people learn. And uh, that was really cool. But yeah, outside of that, I've also just done a lot of work for magazines, flying yeah. to locations. Like I got to fly to Slovakia to shoot a Playboy cover there flew to Philippines to shoot two over there. It was really, really lovely. So yeah, that's um, also here's a question for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your what was your best experience doing that? And what was your worst experience? If you mind sharing that. <laughs> oh um best okay so best experience you don't have I to would, the company you could just tell us like if you don't well, want no. to <laughs> <laughs> Best experience I would say would be in Playboy Philippines. Nice. Um, I did a I did a cover with them a few years prior that was a cover with two other girls. One of my really good friends who's a model in LA and a new girl who we met um, literally the week before uh, <laughs> um, who was traveling and working with us again in another workshop from Australia. And the other girl who I was supposed to work with for the cover bailed. She just didn't come to the Philippines. Wow. So I scrambled. I'm like, you, you're, you're good. Can you come to a conference? Just get anybody. <laughs> Literally. I'm like, you know what you're doing. Let's go. Cause I already arranged this with playboy. Nice. Um, but so we shot a triple cover, the three of us, which was really cool. And it was my first experience with them. But a few years later, um, because I had gone there so many times and I love the Philippines and I just, I don't know, I just, it's like my second home now. They were yeah. so kind enough to actually give me their anniversary cover a few years later. Wow. And they also put on this giant, like beautiful um, fashion show. And they, they flew like seven or eight girls out um, several of them were my friends um, to come and participate in this fashion show along with all of their local playmates. So that was really, really cool. Like that whole experience was awesome. You said, you said your, your, uh, your fiance is from there originally, right? From yes. I actually met him, I believe the night after that big show. I went back to the same venue because my friends own it uh, to host my latex designer's husband, who was wow. also in the Philippines working. And she messaged me like, hey, can you take out Chris? Make sure he has a good time. Like he knows no one. I was like, yeah, sure. I know this place. And I ended up meeting my fiance there. And he's, he's uh, did I read correctly? He's a basketball player? Or? Yes. Well, right. he used to be. So he, um, he's, yeah, he's uh, like six foot four Filipino oh, basketball player. He was in school there under a full uh, basketball scholarship at the University of Philippines. So he was graduating 
and I was just there hanging out. So he was partying with his team and I was like right beside them. And we're both Canadian though. That's and nice. So Listen, that's I why our friends were like, you know there. each other. And the thing is, I like to ask questions outside of just what people's like careers, but what, like, you know, how, right. how, how you met the love of your life and all that, you know, like it's, <laughs> It, it kind of well, it kind of grounds. You know, I like people to get to know. Uh, you know, uh, the, the the people that we work with, who's on our show, what they do, right? Uh, how they got there, right? It's it's part of the journey, and that's what's nice about uh, just just you know being part of that, learning, mm -hmm. you know, going to a foreign country, meeting people, and and getting yourself out there. And it's it's great what you've done with regards to building your career. I mean, uh, I'm absolutely a fan of your work as well. It's great, <laughs> and I think I think that people uh, should definitely check out more what you're doing. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 happy that that uh, you found something that you can kind of grow with. Um, mm -hmm. now, I, you mentioned gaming. I do want to kind of get a little bit more into that. Uh, yeah, that gaming is, and, and you're on Twitch now. Um, mm -hmm. like you said, I mean, is there? Are you finding a nice audience there? Is it? Uh, is it very different from like your YouTube audience? How are you kind of? <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> it's very different from my YouTube audience. Yeah. Um. So so the the really nice thing about Twitch is it's it's definitely more of a community feel. So the people that I have as my subscribers or just my regulars that come in and hang out with me on stream, they're all genuinely just wonderful people, and it's really nice to have like a space like Twitch is like that space for me where I can just communicate and hang out and chill and be myself and people are there, same there to hang out as opposed to like YouTube, you know, I do, I do my cosplay videos and my travel vlogs, not right now, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of like, I do a lot of like bikini hauls as well. And like clothing ha hauls. Cause I have a lot of companies that will send me clothes nice. to model in, to, to do stuff on Instagram for. And so I multi-purpose them and I started doing hauls and it, my channel blew up because of it. So my YouTube comment section uh, <laughs> is not, it's you not know, <laughs> they're not people I would necessarily hold a conversation with Yeah, I hear you. for the most part. So it's definitely a little bit different than Twitch, but I love them all the same. Yeah, it's just it's a different type of uh, different. Uh, vertical in a sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. So yeah. Twitch is wonderful for that, and I think that's why so many people do gravitate towards it because it's just it's a nice place. And if anyone like says anything mean or acts out of line, Every, like, everybody probably beats them up for it. Oh, they're like, yeah, they're just like, how dare you? Or my mods will ban them right away. Like, nope, don't accept that here. <laughs> it's really oh, nice. That's, good. that's listen. <laughs> it, it is listen. At the end of the day, we're all people, and exactly. Uh, you know, everyone it still needs to be respected, especially in the world and the community that we we work and live in. And uh, that's that's awesome. And so. That being said, I mean, I do want to kind of touch on uh, what we're going to be doing uh, uh, this this upcoming season, uh, both for Heroes Manufacturer Live, but also uh, we're going to have a cosplay show uh, for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Any ideas you want to you want to give our viewers a little bit of an idea of what you want to do, what we've kind of spoken about, and right. uh, I mean, I, I can mention a little bit as well, but I, I'll let you kind of get at it. Yeah, I mean, please do because I'm all over the place. But yeah, uh, yeah. yeah so basically. Um, a space and a show to be able to showcase um, the many aspects and talents that people have within within cosplay because that's the thing, right? Cosplay is so broad, but then takes so much um, skill and talent and devotion in several areas. So, you know, some people, like I said, focus in latex. They're amazing at latex and, and they'll be commissioned for that work. Some people really prefer foam work or some people are amazing sewers and embroiderers. And then I have friends and people that I know that literally um, draft and create patterns. They'll make a cosplay, they'll draft and create it and then post that that um, kind of like an ebook PDF online so other people can then learn from their work and the struggles that they kind of went through. So and I'm I guess sure I'm showcasing a lot of all like, of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, for sure. And and I'm, so I'm what I'm wondering is like, I, I'm sure you've met a lot of like art, art you know, art designers, the um, uh, costume designers, costume yes. decorators. And, and that's kind of another aspect I think we're going to touch on as well. And just, you know, meet the people behind it. I know uh, one of our, uh, one of our guests, uh, uh, Andrew Speranza, who was on our show, 
Uh, we featured some of his masks and, and, yes. and work with a lot of people like him in the business who uh, kind of help supply you with things, but also help you get creative and understand how to create. Right. So exactly. Yeah, no, I've done, I, he's helped me so many times on, yeah. uh, on projects and, and every once in a while, like he'll message me and be like, Hey, are you interested in doing something with this? And, and it wouldn't be in my mind like before that, but then, you know, it's, it's presented to me and I'm like, Oh, that like, that would be amazing. Yes, actually. I would love to do that. Kind of how so, we met with, with all this, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it, 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 it takes, sometimes it takes several people or somebody kind of putting an idea into your head um, to, to get that. go in a direction that you may not have gone to yourself. I think that's happened to me several times where either someone will, you know, be like, Oh, I think you would look really amazing as this cosplay or have you ever thought about doing this? Or, Hey, I have something that I think you would fit. Well, would you like to, to, to do that and yeah, yeah. and you know it's it's wonderful to honestly sometimes it's wonderful to have people literally do that so that i'm not constantly sitting here in my brain thinking of the 20 projects that i want to do and should be doing well that's what's going <laughs> to be great about this is that you're going to have guests you're going to be working with some of our hosts as well so just again giving that back to the viewers a little bit more about what we're going to do here Mm -hmm. um, but but I, I can't wait personally because I think it's going to be awesome to have that collaboration with you, but also with uh, uh, putting putting you out there with regards to the the, the, the designers, the artists as well, uh, other cosplayers. I know that you mentioned you have some celebrity uh, cosplay friends that, that uh, you want to invite onto the show as well. Um, you've worked with some of the top uh, top cosplayers in the world as well, right? I think I, I, I think I know most of them for the most part. Yeah, so my fiance is just walking down. Awesome. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, but um, no, for sure. I'm looking forward to it. And I think our viewers are going to really look forward to it. It's going to be an awesome thing for all of us. So uh, thank you once again. Hi there. Of course. Are they? Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, by all means, listen. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that's your family there, right? <laughs> yes, it's raining. Hello. Yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> You're going to read? Awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to having you and your family on the show, so it's all yeah, good. Yes, so I can see that. <laughs> he'll he'll steal it from me. He's tried several times. Hey, why not? Why not? We Listen, if you want to take over as a host, by all means. It's a family show, so we're good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Go read, silly. I'll see you in a second, okay? <laughs> uh, listen, I got I got two daughters, so I know exactly what it's like at home. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, right? <laughs> That's the thing, right? Is is I work at home. Um, my fiance works at home too, which is lovely. So we're all here, but of course, sometimes like we have to like step on top of each other because our actually our weight room. Um, is downstairs so he actually personally he does personal training sessions oh that's in cool. the weight room which is just down the way but does, then does this is my training area as well, or, or does, does, does he work with you on on like physical training as well I, i'm just wondering he, oh he uh nah he always gets mad at me so that's oh, another yeah. thing is people um <laughs> You know, like I, 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 I should hire well. you because I'm like I'm way overweight, so it's all yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've definitely gained a bit because of COVID and everything, but uh, uh, it, he gets really mad because people will ask if I work out because oh, yeah. of my body type and what I look like and whatnot. But I'm, I, I just, I'm vegetarian. I eat very well. I grow a lot of my own food in my garden in the summer and whatnot. So I'm really healthy in that aspect. But when people, people are like, "Wow, you must work out like five days a week." He must be training you all the time, right? And I don't. And he's just like, oh, people only knew. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. He does. He well, now now they do the know. Day. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I always tell people, I'm like, no, I just diet. I don't drink alcohol. I'm very good like that. But yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had way too much fun at pubs and bars. So it's all good. Yeah. No, I, I, I play video games and I sit I sit for eight hours a day. No. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, listen, thank you uh, uh, for coming on to our show today. Um, I do, again, want to share to, with our viewers, uh, expect to see Holly soon on our uh, Heroes Manufactured Cosplay show. Untitled yet, but uh, I know. We're, 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 trying. we're working on it, guys. Don't worry. We're, we're going to figure something out. And, uh, yeah, thanks again. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. No problem. Thanks, and take care, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.